Hey everyone, it's Amador. And I just wanted to do a quick video on a comparison of these two berry basket dies. I was pretty much curious to see what they would look like and how they, um, how easily they would cut out. They both cut out pretty well. But this one is by Sizzix and this one is, let me make sure I'm focusing, this one is called, um, just berry basket and this one is by Lori Whitlock. And it doesn't, sh here's the thing, I already took it out because I was about to put it away. I don't know if you can see, but it cuts out this part, the bottom part, and the little scallop strip that goes around here, and also a, a nice little tag. So this one, you do have to cut out four of the side pieces, and um, it just comes with a little tab, and then one or two of the uh, bottoms, depending on how you want to do it, and then the little scallop um scalloped edge. So this one, this one is by um, Lifestyle Crafts, Quick Cuts, whatever the crap they're calling themselves today. Um, and this one is a long strip which cuts out, um, and you only need to cut out two of these and then you just cross them together and that little band, and it has a little um, label, it has a two layer label, but this little band goes over here over like how, right in the middle of um, like this goes right in the middle of here I mean and then you fold it over to glue it together whereas this one has little tabs right here to glue it together and um, so yeah so I went ahead and die cut them both with just cream cardstock just to see what they would look like um, because I wanted I actually just wanted one but I wanted to see which one I wanted then I figure if I didn't like the other one I could sell it or de stash it or something like that or gift it whatever um, and honestly, I like them both in, for different aspects. This one you can cut thicker uh, items with because it's a steel rule die, steel rules die, and this one is a um, wafer thin die. So anyhow, but as far as size, they go this way. As far as uh, style and size and everything, personally, I like the way this one looks because it looks more like one um, on the side. But I don't know what the big, you know, slant whatever. But this one is actually slot. I mean, this one is actually smaller than this one. Here, let me move the dies aside. Height-wise, this, this one is much higher, and it seems a little bit sturdier, I think, but then this one doesn't have the little uh, flap, uh, little layers that go over it to, um, over the front. So anyway, um, the, how can I put it, this die cuts out the little notches down below the cut thing, but when you cross it, it doesn't, you can't really see it, so I don't see the point in that, but, um, in here you can see I put the little slip, the slot of paper right there that goes all the way around. I mean, not all the way around. It goes halfway to here. So it's in the middle, halfway to there. And they're pretty sturdy. I mean, I just, I did cut them really quick out of uh, some cream cardstock, some Recollections cream cardstock, because I wanted to put them together and see which one I liked. I figure I can get over the fact that either I uh, will like them or I will not. And then, you know, de-stash them or whatever. Um, in the picture... It does look a little different the way they put it together, but I just kind of put it together like this. It shows more of a um, open right here on this one. So yeah, like I said, um, as you can see right there from the top, they look almost the same size. This one's a little bit wider as well, and this one, the Lifestyle Crafts one, is a little bit deeper. And let's see here, where is my other die? I actually got this one because it went with um, another Lori Whitlock die that... I got last week, which I thought I brought out, but I didn't. So let me just reach over from my basket, my box of, I mean, of, um, of dies. And, of course, Mr. Prepared over here. Let me see if I can find the one that it goes with. It goes with a strawberry die. And I think you guys saw it at, on Gloria's, um, YouTube channel on Crafty Cake 7. But let me show you. And I haven't even used it because I was waiting for the basket. Not like I couldn't use it. But it um, this one coordinates with this. But of course you can use any of the strawberries. Um, but the strawberries, the way I saw them, um, somebody made them. I think like only two or... Let me open this. Two or three um, fit in there. Now, most of the steel root dries that I have, I actually don't save the packaging. I just have them stored like this. And... This one actually comes with a little pouch, but it's not, it's not a snap pouch, you'd think it would be. Um, but anyway, the strawberries were bigger, and like probably like two or one fit in here, and maybe more will fit in this one when I have this. So I basically decided I'm going to keep them, 
<laughs> because I actually do like them. So yeah, so hopefully I get to make some little projects. I actually have the real berry baskets in the pints and in the quartz, and I have the wooden baskets because I'm nuts like that. But I wanted these cute little ones, and not like I couldn't use the other ones, right? I have issues, I know. So anyway, but I wanted to give you guys a comparison so you guys can see if you guys, just like the um, the mason jar die, the mason jars die dies that I have, um, a few people found it pretty helpful. That way they knew which one that they were looking for and, you know, what works better for them. So hopefully this helps something or somebody. But, um, so like I said, this one's the wafer thin die and it's a little bigger. And this one is the, um, the steel rule die. So you can cut, uh, what should we call it, um thicker uh thicker cardstock or paper chipboard whatever and th these this one actually comes score it scores the little piece right there where you fold it and folding everything honestly assembly took me a couple of seconds i die cut everything and then i was watching tv with nathan so it came together pretty easily but like i said if you're looking depending on and let me get the oh, of course once again i'm preparing the ruler <laughs> just to kind of give you guys a better even better idea put together it is about um, three and a quarter wide, um, the Lifestyle Crafts one, uh, two and a half inches high, and the bottom is, uh, about a little over, uh, no, it's like two and five-eighths or whatever. And this one is the same, about three and a quarter wide, I mean, uh, yeah, wide. This one is two inches, less than two inches high, uh, though it's one and seven-eighths. And the bottom is two and three-fourths, a little bit over two and three-fourths. But like I said, depending on what you want to use it for, um, I like the adorableness of this shape, but since it doesn't go inward, it just has this gap, I kind of, I don't know, I kind of like this one. This one feels more complete. And you could put a label, and that's what the little label here has it for. So design-wise, I think I like this one. Size-wise, I like this one, because I like how these slots go all the way up. And I know most things are just aesthetics, and it just depends on what you're looking for. But yeah. So hopefully, like, like I said, this one you only have to die cut twice. This one you have to die cut um, the side panels four times because they're. I think it's cool because they do get to fit more now. They're. I think they're designing better now where um, they get to fit more instead of like oh putting the whole thing on one piece and then you get a batter basket that's like this big that doesn't even fit one strawberry. So but yeah, there's a square, the little scalloped, and I really should have uh, die cut this so you guys could see it better. Um, but yeah, this is the side panel with little tabs. You can kind of see it. There we go. And there's the bottom, the little borders, and the tag. So yeah. And honestly, it's no big deal. Since it's the steel rule die, I actually cut um, the sides two at a time. So it's not like not the big deal. And I ran this one two, two, uh, twice also. So yeah. So hope that helps, you guys. And I will talk to you soon. Oh, I also got this one die. I think I saw this one on um, Maryland's. Um, channel. I saw these on Marilyn's channel too, and I think she said she ordered this one. Um, so yeah. But anyway, they have this one. This one is the card spool thread. Thread card spool. Where'd it go? And the funny thing is, it does have um, a sample paper of what it looks like. And I just totally lost it. I have no idea where I left it. It's a nice size, and I know you guys are probably thinking, well, people are making that shape with the. Um, with the envelope punch board, and that is true. You can easily make that shape where, uh, I think Bona has an awesome video on that, where you, I'm trying to, I'm over here, I'm not even showing you guys anything, but I'm over here trying to find the card. I just totally had it in my hands. Um, where you cut the piece, and then you cut the little notch from the envelope punch board, and then you cut it here. The cool thing, though, with this one, the only reason probably that I got this, and no, the only reason I did get this, is because it's a pretty big die. Um, on one side it has the the spool and on the other side it does it also but it also has the little lines to make it look like a thread to emboss I guess um, but you can I with these you can cut chipboard so if I showed you I did have a video earlier this week um, with the uh, ribbon and lace storage cards that I made with the scallop die and I had to cut off these where was that one I just had this one as well Everything is on my desk right now because I did pick up a few things. Oh, I found it. Okay. I did pick up a few things. So anyway, here's the one that I made, and you guys might have seen it in my previous video. But this is what it cuts out. Now, granted, this one is smaller than this, this uh, the one that I made with the other die. But this one cuts too. You can easily just cut it right there, and you have two ribbon holes. And then decorate it as you please, as you wish. But here's the, how the card comes out. 
So, but yeah, you use chip products. I think Gloria, um, not Gloria, um, Marilyn showed it. So that's a pretty good thing, especially if you want to make uh, ribbon and lace cards quicker and uh, without having to cut the sides off and stuff. So anyhow, so yeah, hopefully it's a lot of babbling, but I just, you know, hope it's informative because like I said, I had, I had someone done this or shown this, I would have only bought one. One, one of the dies. I don't really need two uh, ba berry basket dies. So, hope this helps you guys um, decide which ones you like. And actually, with as far as this one, I think Sizzix is also making, or somebody's making, a steel rule die. Um, but this one, I really liked um, everything that came with it, because you get all of this. So, that's pretty cool. So, anyway. So, alright. I will talk to you guys soon. And uh, thanks for stopping by. Like I said, I hope that helps somebody. And uh, you guys take care. Bye, everyone.